All right, so we're looking at the May 2019 Caribbean Secondary Mathematics exam. Question 1A, part 1. And the question we're looking at is a complex fraction. So how do we solve or simplify or evaluate such questions? All right. Well, we need to ensure that we have one quantity above the division line, that long division line here, one quantity. So we need to simplify whatever is on top to one quantity. And the denominator, we need to ensure it's also is one quantity. In case it isn't, then we need to simplify to one quantity. So only the top part we need to simplify before we can divide by the denominator. So in order for us to do that, let us examine the numerator. In the numerator of the complex fraction, we realize the two fractions, the two fractions are mixed numbers. And one way of simplifying them is to convert to improper fractions. So converting to proper fraction, we will get what? We'll get 9 over 4 minus 8 over 5. How we got that? Can you tell? Well, four twos, we multiply, four by two, we get eight, and add one, we get nine over the denominator four. We apply the same principle here, and we get eight over five, all divided by three. Now, the next step, we can't just subtract here because the denominators are not the same. So converting these to equivalent fractions with denominators of 20, we will be able to subtract the two fractions. So we're going to do that. And in order to do that, we're going to multiply the top and bottom by 5 to get 20 in the denominator. And here we're going to also multiply the denominator by the top and bottom by 4 in order to get a denominator of 20. So let's look at that in step. So what we end up with is 45 over 20 minus 32 over 20, all divided by 3. So now we can subtract the, the numerators of the top fractions or the numerator fractions. All right, so we can subtract these numerators, 45 minus 32 over 20, and that will, that will give us 13 over 20, all divided by 3. So we haven't dealt with the 3 as yet. We haven't divided by 3 as yet. Now we have one quantity on top. That's the, the numerator fraction been simplified to a single fraction, we can now divide by 3. So we're going to write it horizontally in a better form that we can appreciate. So we are seeing that 13 over 20 divided by 3, and we're writing the 3 as 3 over 1. Because the very next step, we need to change from division to multiplication. We don't divide straight off the bat like that. We need to change the division to multiplication. And we know that dividing by 3 over 1 is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of 3 over 1. What? What's that? Yes, it is 1 over 3. Now we're going to multiply straight across. Once we're multiplying, we can multiply straight across. 13 times 1 give us 13, and 20 times 3 gives 60. So the next step will look like this. 13 over 60. Can we simplify that further? Well, 13 is a prime number. has two factors, 1 and 13, and only 1. Of the two factors which is 1 can enter into 60 and so we can simply if we divide by 1 we we'll still end up with 13 over 60 so that will be sir yes do you agree I think we've dealt with this question correctly yeah we're the champion